a it's a great cause. So yeah. we're just getting uh, run set up. Should be ready pretty soon. Thank you, Rabram, for your $500 donation. Uh, great marathon, great runners. Thank you for the entertainment. Keep up the good work. And Mr. MV and all the French Restream. Right there, cool. Yeah. All right, this is probably fine, but. We are loading. Yeah, some they gotta preload the maps. Yeah, we don't want our loads to be extra long because then that could come down to like who wins the race, and we don't want that. So we're preloading to make all the loads short. This doesn't take a long time. Yeah, there's only like 15 maps or something. These are already seem pretty fast to me, actually. Uh, <laughs> loaf. <laughs> loaf. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we are. Well, that's what it looks like on this monitor over here. I don't know. I'm so high for portal too. You guys don't even know. You with your pre-made saves. It's so convenient. I should They're do that. They're sullies, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. I should do that. It's really convenient. Oops. I think my brightness is a little lower. Maybe. Yeah, for some reason, for some reason, this one looks a little yellowish on the stream, but I don't know why. Do you have flash? I do. Um, I, I can try to disable it. But yeah, because it's flux of cock already. It's already gonna put it in night mode and try okay. to save your life. Yeah. It, it's off now. And they see my shirt. This is aperture. Aperture. <laughs> Which side? Open your you no, your two. developer console. Yeah. Guys are doing rocks. I've had several friends and families um, use the books. Fine on this side. Because it's fine here. Yeah, it's fine here. It's yeah, fine here. colors look normal on our screens. Yeah. It's probably, it, it looks a little weird, but it's not worth it. Yeah, it's it's not okay, yeah so none of my presses. You can where you're, you can hear some audio, so I can see if those speakers are loud enough. And if you if you really need audio, then we can just go without easy sound, like direct sound. No, I, I can deal with it. You can? Yeah. Uh, okay. There's not really any audio There's, there's one audio cue at the very end of the game that I'm going to need, but... Well, if you want to, you can unplug your cable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ruin the stream really quick. <laughs> Wait, so they have your audio and not mine? They have my audio. 
My HDMI audio. should have audio output with it. Then they clash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds everything's good. Well, I'm ready to start. So are you? Uh, let me get first one. There we go. Yeah. Cool. We're ready. Doing inbounds, right? All right, I started about three frames faster, so I'm literally the biggest cheater in the world. <laughs> Can't tell if it's you know, the same frame difference. All right. So in the beginning of the game, you have 56 seconds to do whatever the hell you want. Um, so I'm going to try to get this cup outside of the room, because he's trying to get that radio inside the glass, dot time cup. Um, yeah. We can try to get this. This is a really weird SPD. Uh, it's kind of inconsistent. Shout out to Yeti for the reach around. All right, so while they're messing around, oh I guess God. I can kind of explain. Like the main things you're going to see in this game, as far as movement, is ABH, which is the same thing they were using in Half Life 2. Uh, it's accelerated back hopping. Basically, they're going to go backwards everywhere because it's faster. There we go. Radio in the glass. Oh, nice. I've never seen that before. That's slick. And uh, the floating clipboard in my body. Gotcha. This is, a, yeah, using quantum crouching. This is the only use of quantum crouching in the run is to make yourself into a radio in the clipboard. <laughs> All right, we're about to start off here. All right. So like Zeno said, we're going to be using ABH. I didn't quite get through the doorway. Me neither. <laughs> Oh, oh, doorway! Whoa! Oh my god, okay, well, this... <laughs> obviously not... Okay. <laughs> what?! Pause your game, because I what? need to explain. Please, can you just continue the race? We're racing. Oh my god, okay. So, welcome to Portal. Portal is a video game where physics don't exactly work. That's how I'll describe it. I'm pretty sure everyone who runs this game hates this game. And that's why. Shout out to physics. Now, I, I have like a 20 second deficit in the race now because I wanted to, uh... Um, yeah, cubes and buttons to let everyone know my pain sometimes. Just then. Also, um, you can get unexplained boosts out of certain portals and that can be really annoying too. But uh, aside from the weird physics bugs, uh, well, one of them we actually used to our advantage that you saw earlier in Half-Life 2 was the accelerated back hopping. We do that like everywhere pretty much. Um, this game also has a few other glitches that are exclusive to this game, um, like edge glitch. Uh, so we'll be using that in a few spots. Basically, you uh, put your body up against the edge of one portal and it sort of like uh, locates, I don't know, it sort of like transfers your portal gun's view to the other portal. It's kind of hard to explain, but it allows you to skip certain barriers. Now you guys decided not to use save glitch, right? Yeah. We okay, are doing, so um, like, hold inbound strats. So if you guys have watched uh, Sully JHF's stream or the new segmented inbounds portal run, uh, the runs that these guys are doing is going to use a slightly different route because the route that those runs use are still pretty controversial. It's not really been completely decided one way or another whether those tricks are inbounds or not. So, so that they don't get called hacking cheaters, uh, <laughs> they're going to use the strats that we know are completely inbounds. Yeah. Part of me really wanted to do one of the fake inbound strats just to catch up, but <laughs> I prefer it. But then if I would win, then I would feel really bad. Do not look directly Even at though it's a full chamber ahead of device. me, it doesn't actually mean much because that's the full well chamber. Then. Remember, the aperture science bring your dog to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Yeah. You can see it really builds up a lot of speed. Oh, another trick that's exclusive to this game is peek a portaling. Um, basically, you peek through a portal, you shoot the, uh, the portal that you're peeking out of, and you back out. So basically, you're moving one portal while staying outside the other one. Oh, wow, I got it. Oh, How did you hit that? Are you serious? I thought I was not going to make that shot. I was hoping you weren't going to make that shot. <laughs> oh, that's rude. I'm I know rude. you're mad about that. I'm cute. pretty mad, okay. 
I believe it doesn't matter. I'll get you back when we're playing co-op. Also, my cute golf. The button. <laughs> yeah, but then we're not. We're on the same team when we're playing co-op. That's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> you clearly have never played Portal 2 co-op. Correct me. <laughs> Yeah, the goal behind co-op is to make your partner as miserable as possible. As Which is why I kind of okay. want to start running like random partner percent. I kind of messed that up. There's an option in uh, Portal 2 to find a random partner online, and I've, I've kind of been tinkering with the idea of just doing that and just being as obnoxious as possible with my partner. <laughs> At the end of that chamber, I use accelerated forward hopping. Um, it only works once you're going fast enough, but uh, the mechanics of it are very similar to back hopping. Please be careful. So chambers eight and nine are pretty random, so I'm hoping they just screw Zanaran over for like 20 seconds or so, so that I can catch up. Make this an actual race. I didn't get the best portal shot off. Oh my god. Yeah, so, uh, second try. It's not great, but I didn't die at least. I got about three seconds back there. Yeah, chamber nine is kind of tricky. Uh, there's a skip where we put a portal underneath the door and uh, sort of go through each half of the portal. But you have to be careful about where you place it, otherwise it'll fizzle. <laughs> Unexplained! Speaking of the random portal boosts, Azure just got one of those. Yep. I think this is a good spot. Alright, yeah. So, um, as Gladys mentions in Chamber 10, uh, momentum is conserved between portals, except that's actually not true at all. I went into a portal at walking speed and got shot out. Basically half the speed of light. Um, <laughs> fortunately, I was able to recover, but Those normally it can be really there. annoying sometimes. Yeah. The enrichment center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Okay, cool. uh, first try, Make no attempt so. to solve it. So look triggers here. Yeah, there are a couple of look triggers in this game. Chamber Town has one, and uh, twelve has two more. Yes. There may be more, but. I don't think there are any that are relevant to a speed run. Hello again. We reiterate. Thank you to Wally for your $150 donation. Happy to support a great to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. I'm almost disappointed neither of you guys are using portal gun skins. Oh, no, I don't have any. I actually personally custom. don't like portal gun skins. Oh, lame. Thank you to Morgoth for your $250 donation. Great event. Oh my god, I will myself in the stream uh, to even do this donation. We're going to go for something called Food Throw. I didn't know that. Are you going to try it? I'm going to get it. <laughs> no. I am too low. What the? I lost control of my speed in the air. Okay. Continue doing things like that. Do it for me. <laughs> Dude, if you're not careful, he's gonna kill you in Portal 2. <laughs> so if you look trigger there, look trigger there. I hit the spot on the cube dropper. I'll go for the redemption cube throw in the next chamber. So that's nice! How, that's how skilled players do that chamber. I'm surprised that went through. <laughs> You're getting really lucky like with these doors. Door shots. <laughs> I'm aiming. I'm just shooting at the exact right time. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh my God! The and cubes in this game just completely hate me. Oh my God! <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh, by the way, that's like the shortest chamber in the game. Oh, he didn't forget the fourteen. Forget Chamber 14. You're the wrong strat. You're supposed to be Shout out to Chiro for forgetting Chamber 14. I don't think it does that anymore, but that was really cute when All right, this next chamber is probably one of the most involved, and it's the first time we see Pika portals. Also, portal bumping right there. What? Yep, there's more random speed. Yeah, that shouldn't happen, but it does randomly. So you mentioned portal bumping. Uh, the way portal bumping works is if you have a portable, surf a portable surface and you have a portal on it and you shoot to the side of it, your portal gets kind of nudged and it can get pushed through walls or glass or things like that. Yeah, I'm going to do it a few more times in this next chamber. 
also uh, yeah, it's nice. That, that's there cool. we go. And I want right here. Camera strats. Also, this is the only place in the entire game where something other than a cube or the player can activate a button. That turret is just wonky. <laughs> Give all those reps. Gotta save some time. Well, what a man! Oh crap! Lee, no! Oh. That balance is such a weird way. One. That never happens. And oh, suddenly yeah, we are. And suddenly it's even again. Please take care of it. And my auto save didn't have the cube. I'm so sad. Three, two, what? One. Shout out to Chamber 17 for being literally made of dick. This has <laughs> never <laughs> happened to me before. <laughs> This is like the most awful 17 I've ever had. I'm just gonna walk forward to do this. Like this Literally hold W. Holding W is out of bounds. You can't do that. Oh my god. I don't like. The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stop. Yeah, normally I would ABH through this always, but the everything went bad. So, for better or for worse, this is now kind of a race. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're pretty close again. <laughs> Just a reminder that there are two Borderlands 2 missions uh, that need some donations for them to happen. There's the Facebook Shooty mission uh, and there's the Space Program mission. So get your donations in for those um, because they're both great and we'll want to see them. No camera. Why? Oh, Why? Camera I hate when that happens. <laughs> yeah, so you have to an edge glitch. Why? Shoots through a door What's and skip the happening? worst room in the game. Are you gonna do platform skip? I'm gonna do platform skip. Platform skip. I believe in you. Okay, I'm gonna do the same edge glitch. Have to get, get it. Um, you can air strafe there, and there's a very small window where you can. Well done. Uh, Land a portal on that platform, that and it skips a shot. That's oh, Zern got it. That's nice. the platform skip. <laughs> I would clap, but I actually hate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think you that still only had like a faster chamber than me because of everything else. <laughs> that trick only saves like three seconds, but it's really tough to pull off. Okay, coming up is a large angle glitch, which is difficult on a, a new keyboard. Welcome to the final yeah, I'm order. probably not going to get this you first try either. I've been only consistent all day. So explain what they're trying to do. Um, portal doesn't make sense. Let's leave, let's leave it at that, because this is really complicated. Uh, they teleport because the game's code is terrible. I'm sorry, Kim Swift. She says it's okay. She'll prove herself again in Quantum Conundrum after this game. Which you should totally stick around for, Blood Thunder Quantum Conundrum. You win. Go back to the recovery annex for your cake. It was a fun test, and we're all impressed at how much you won. Yeah, cool too. The test is over. Come back. Look cool. Cool too. This is the same game. So now that we're into the escape sequence, there are no more elevators, and yeah, basically no more waiting. Yeah, this is a pretty fast-paced part. Uh, everything to the end is really fast-paced. Nice. Nice. I'm saying nice. Oh oh my nice. God. That wasn't nice. Nice. Shut up! Nice. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell just happened? Okay. That wasn't good, but it wasn't catastrophic either. Miss the turret flippy skippy tricky thingy we swingy thingy please. I don't need that. There's a weird trigger here on the store. You just have to walk into it and it opens. Normally it wouldn't open for like maybe 10 seconds or I don't even know how long. You're not a good person. You know that, right? I'm fully aware of that, but I'm not a good person. This is the trip flippy skippy tricky flingy wingy swingy thingy. <laughs> is the legitimate official name. This is your fault. Trademark. It didn't have to be like this. 
Hopefully I don't get unlucky on this window here. Hopefully Zanern gets unlucky on this window here. <laughs> I got unlucky on the window! Are you? Oh my god. That's brutal. So I needed a quick save and quick load here, and even then I think I'm just stuck. Um, I need to load an auto I just save. made a and save before it. I'm still in the window. What the hell? Okay. Uh, this is a point to skip the turret room. Setting up a portal there because the turret is going to be able to shoot me through it later. Uh, but I don't really want the turret to just shoot me. I want it to shoot GLaDOS that's behind me. So let's see if this works. Yep. So I just knocked off three of Gladys's four cores. The last one will pop up by itself, and that's supposed to be the first core that you get. So I'm just setting up all the cores to be ready to drop into the incinerator. As soon as the uh, all four cores go in and my crosshairs disappear, that will be time for the game. All right, so I feel like you're comfortably ahead at this point, so I'm, I'm feeling you're gonna do the soft block. So yeah, I will. Do the bounce. And time. And now I'm gonna try to do a little Easter egg for you guys. Okay, not terrible. <laughs> so, <laughs> that might have been really confusing, but I just went uh, out of bounds in a bunch of different places, and now we found the cake and the companion cube. Cake is not a lie, everyone. You gotta center. <laughs> the game's over, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the game yeah, the game is over when it goes out. My out. time happened as well, so. Alright, so if Znern, if Znern did this correctly, then we will see. We could go back downstairs, turn to this one. Just got 20. Nice, you got the cake. <laughs> Good race. Good race. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you got very unlucky. No, no, that was. Yeah, it was fun. Not, I got screwed by like 18 yeah. different things, yeah. which is why I hate this game. <laughs> it's so bad. Don't Seriously, run it. everyone that runs this game hates this game. I have a tutorial on YouTube on how to speedrun this game, this category. If you'd like to learn how to. Play this game, speedrun this game, check out my YouTube channel. And then don't, because don't play this game. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. on Xnerdicus' uh, screen, uh, if you place the cube correctly, uh, what happens at the end of the game is you, you know, follow this camera around and it uh, zooms in on the cake, and then a claw drops down from the ceiling to try to pinch out the light on the candle. Well, if the claw can't do that, that's actually like the trigger for the credits to roll, so... <laughs> Yeah, so basically, we might have just soft locked the game. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we doing anything for the song? I think the audio is on the The audio's on me, so if Yeah, he has the audio. Yeah. Was that expensive? No, it wasn't. No, we just Okay. Okay. Portal two. Alright, portal Go two on. it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> <laughs>